Ethiopian Airlines Flight 961. This $40 million aircraft has become a 100-ton glider. The plane is out of fuel. A crash landing in the sea is all but inevitable. The loss of engine power starts rippling through the plane. As well as driving the jet through the skies, the engines supply power to most of the electrical and hydraulic systems. Without the engines, the computer screens, automatic pilot, and many other functions of the plane stop working. Although the engines are now useless, a low-tech backup system allows the pilot to retain some control. The ram air turbine, or RAT, is the last line of defense when all the engines fail. A small trap door automatically opens, and the turbine, a small propeller, pops out. The rushing air turns the propeller like a windmill, generating just enough electrical power for basic flight instruments and controls, including airspeed. Since uh, it was power off, that means there was no electrical or hydraulic power. The controls were heavy. The turbine doesn't provide enough power for Abate to operate the flaps, which would help slow the plane down for landing. Wherever he lands, Captain Abate will have to do so at a dangerously high speed. Power of landing is the power of ditching. Nobody's trained in the world. Flying over the water, you need accurate instruments. I didn't have any of the instruments. Without engines, a large passenger jet can glide 11 and a half miles for every 3,300 feet of altitude it loses. At 21,000 feet, the Ethiopian Airlines plane can travel for nearly 75 miles before it hits the ground. It's an extremely dangerous situation few pilots in the world have ever faced. In 1983, Another 767 pilot found himself in a similar predicament. Air Canada Flight 143 ran out of fuel and landed on an abandoned Air Force base, sustaining only minor damage. In the right circumstances, a safe landing without power is possible. Captain Abate hopes to land at the airport in the Comoros Islands, but struggling against the hijackers, on the final turn, he loses his bearings and can't locate the runway. I was within the vicinity of the airport. So I was keeping the airport in my sight all the time. Then through the struggle, I lost my position. I lost where I was. In the critical seconds it takes to find the airport again, he loses too much altitude and doesn't know if he can make it to a runway. A water landing is now his only option. Landing on the ocean is even more dangerous than bringing a plane down on the ground. Oh my God! Oh no! The ditching was very rough. The aircraft broke apart into three pieces. In the end, of the 175 people on board the plane, 50 survive. Without the actions of a body, many more could have died.